Hi folks, welcome back to the channel, Thailand Dreaming, Love Letters from Retirement. Uh, this video today is the second in the Kanchanaburi trip series, and I'll be looking at the uh, Jeff M Museum. Uh, I think it's uh, a mixed bag, this museum. It's uh, a war museum from the Japanese occupation times and the uh, bridge over the River Kwai and also a Thai archaeological and Thai war museum as well. It's uh, a little bit long. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, if you enjoy those videos from out and about around Thailand and uh, all the things I'm seeing and the places I'm going to, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the share button of course, and hit the like button. Yeah, so, um, this is Kanchanaburi, Kanchanaburi, Kanburi, and uh, I'm walking up to the uh, War Museum up here. So, um, I know there's a Japanese memorial up here, but, you know, I'm not really interested in looking at that. It's bad as that may sound. Sorry, just not interested. Yeah, so there's lots of cafes and stuff like that here. 7-Eleven, of course. Cafe Amazon, of course. Okay, so the Death War Museum. This is it here. I don't know how much it costs to get in. It's probably double for the following. No smoking. Oh, I've got to have a mask. Got to have a mask. Oh, I'll have to go back to the bike and get a mask. Fifty baht to get in. Fifty baht. Oh yeah. Children, twenty baht. Undoubtedly, those uh, prisoners of war. We'll fit it up, pulling these things along with uh, rocks in them or whatever, or other prisoners or dead bodies. Not a pleasant thought, but that's how it was. Got here, a, looks like a, uh, it's an old Merc, I don't know if it's a Japanese staff car or whatever. But yeah, nice looking old Merc. Bit of rust, but yeah. Couple of bombs here. Bombs or mock up bombs. <clears throat> Probably what the Allied forces dropped here. Yeah, so let's have a look here at this museum. So, what have we got here? Apparently, that's Charles de Gaulle. And over here we've got a uh, very young and very British looking uh, Winston Churchill. And there's Joseph. Joseph Stalin. And here we have, uh, hey, Dougie. Dougie MacArthur. General Douglas MacArthur. <coughs> Harry S. Truman, apparently. Apparently Harry S. Truman, that's him there. And who's this dude here? Albert Einstein. Albert. Yeah, and some old clippings from Thai newspapers back in the day, I guess. Interesting. And who we got here? Royal Command of His Imperial Majesty. Japanese. So, let's have a look here. We'll have a look. I don't know who that is. He's got a bunch of grapes though. Uh huh. Mayuki Yamashita. Dolph. Adolf. What do we got here? Benito. Mussolini. Fishman. 
Bonito. And here we have Tojo. Hideki Tojo. Hideki Tojo. Yes. So there's those guys. You know, as politicians uh, want, responsible for the deaths of thousands of human beings. Okay, light's not real good in here, but uh, we have some uh, old photos. The Mongolians spent their lives on horseback. Hmm. Let's have a look here, we've got some guns. Looks like an old Aluga. Some money there, the, the states of Guernsey. One pound. Some really old money here. Ten rupees. One rupee. Interesting. Some old guns. I like that sucker there. Looks like a British, British or Australian Army Burberry. I don't know what that one is, it's entitled Bulletproof of American Soldiers for Fighting in War. Apparently that's a bulletproof uh, vest. Yeah, some uh, swords. One of them looks like a samurai sword. There's some samurai swords. All sorts of weapons. Some of them are saying better days. Let's say they've been dug up. Looks like a Winchester. I guess the Americans have those. Shell casings. Old shell casings. Oh now, in this glass, the monument remains of 104 prisoners who worked as laborers during the World War II are kept on the second level and the remains of another two of them are kept on the third level making it a total of 106 so uh, I don't know about laborers I'd say slaves Fairly gruesome, fairly gruesome. Construction of the, um, of the bridge by the slaves. The mm -hmm. looks pretty fit at the time. Death Railway. They're starting to look a bit skinny, those guys. There's a little Buddhist temple in here as well. More remains of shells. What do we got here? Uh, it looks like an overhead map of the railway. Down Bay. I don't know where the bridge is there. Bangkok. No idea what's going on in here. Certainly not a bed that the Allies are in. Oh, just some relics, I, I suppose. Some Chinese. I noticed on the way into Canterbury there was uh, really a lot of Chinese graves. I think the Japanese murdered a lot of Chinese here. So these are the remains of Chinese um, artifacts, I guess. Beautiful looking table, have a look at that. That is absolutely gorgeous, that's a teak table. Absolutely beautiful. Wow. More Chinese stuff with mother of Paul Inlay. Just beautiful. Really beautiful stuff here. This table is absolutely phenomenal. That's one of the most beautiful looking tables I've ever seen. Here about the glass reflection. Thank you. That's beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. I'll see if I can zoom in and get the... Um, yeah, I can't zoom in. Absolutely.
absolutely beautiful. It really is. Anyway, anyway, let's keep going. It's nice to mother of pearl and gold inlay. Gold leaf and the mother of pearl. Absolutely beautiful. And old Cessna. I think it's a Cessna. And no, uh, this one would be a I'm not sure, American maybe. Looks like it's had a cross on it, so it might have been a red cross. Evac uh, chopper. Interesting. It's like a little mock-up of uh, what it would have been like for these uh, people. Building this railway. So the tyres do remember. Oh, look at this. This old jalopy. That's old. I don't know what it is. It's got no badge on it. Someone will know. Yeah. other types of uh, helmets in there too. Very interesting. Okay, so the sign says, boats carrying malaria-stricken prisoners of war to the field hospital in Kaupun, Kanchanaburi, World War II. I doubt very much. I think they would have thrown them in the river. It's more likely. Yeah, some machinery. Look like the pontoons. Fighter aircraft refuel tank. Interesting. Oh, look at that, an old cupboard. An old wardrobe. Barber's chairs. Oh, old army boots. Oh, look at those motorbikes. Wow. Motorbikes and, oh, they're like uh, mopeds. They're like mopeds. Wow. Wow! Wonder if that's a Honda. Japanese Triumph, I don't think so. Mopeds. Push bike. I dare say there's a few enthusiasts that would like to get hold of a couple of these. 
money. Look at the money. Give me the money. Show me the money. Those are Indian rupees. I wonder if they were stolen from somewhere by the Japanese. A whole safe full of them. I never saw so much money. Yeah, not sure what this is. Uh, more museum. Built out of stone. Uh, it looks like the guardian of a tomb. Uh, we'll have a look in here and see what's in here. Naked ladies. Plenty of naked ladies. Naked men too. My God. Oh, this looks like some uh, prehistoric shit here. Look at this. Wow. Wow, Neolithic period. Axe heads. Stone bracelets. 300 BC to AD 200. Wow. <clears throat> Mesolithic period. 2000 to 1000 BC in Kanchaburi. Kanchanaburi. Bronze spearhead, axes. Oh, how interesting. Pots. I wonder if they dug all this stuff up when they were building that railway. Very interesting. Polyolithic. Oh, this looks like brass. Brass pots. <clears throat> that looks like the yeah, head of a giant. As you can see, it's pretty big. Not sure what's going on in here. It's a verse and gourds and a lot more Chinese type relics. I'm not sure. A lot of Thai stuff here. Thai and Chinese. It's an old opium pot, look at that. Another one. A smaller one. <coughs> A snake and a, and a lamb, baby lamb. Oh, these are all snakes, check it out. Snakes in jars. Yucky. Well, this looks like a, uh, an old herbal, herbal shop, a Chinese medicine place. As you can see, they've got all these uh, herbs and stuff here. And they've got all these fish and snakes and lizards and things in uh, jars. Yeah, it must be an old Chinese uh, herbal shop. Herbs everywhere. These beautiful old uh, cabinets. Yeah, cuttlefish there, dried cuttlefish. Some kind of ant's nest or something like that. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. I know the light's not very good and I've got to film it through glass, but yeah, oh, wood chips, all types of bark and flowers. Interesting. Mm. More snakes in jars. Oh, how interesting. A Chinese apothecary. Well, I would imagine Thai, but you know, the writing's Chinese, so. I'm assuming it's an old Chinese herbal remedy shop. Well, maybe they're still in action, I don't know. Look at the ceiling. Check the ceiling, yeah, hand painted. Just absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Interesting. And this type mural undoubtedly tells the story of a battle. I wonder if it's uh, Ayutthaya and the Burmese.